Hi, welcome back to another video. Should I eat before or after I work out? This is a common question for anyone who exercises. And it can be of particular interest to those like me who work out first thing in the morning. After going for hours without eating, is it a good idea to get out of bed and go straight into an exercise session without consuming any food? Well, from a metabolic health perspective, fasted exercise may be beneficial because of its potential effect on glucose, fat burning and insulin sensitivity. But the approach can have significant drawbacks for performance, so it is not right for everybody. So watch till the end of this video and let's take a look at the science together to find out about the effect of fasted exercise on the body and how it might impact your workout goals and metabolic health. If you like this video and find this useful, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is completely free of charge, but will help the channel to grow. Thank you. First, let's establish what does it mean to be fasted. We might feel like we are starving after skipping lunch and heading into a 5 p.m. workout after school or work. But physiologically, you haven't fasted. Physiologically, Fast means your body is in a post-absorptive state and the nutrients from your food have been digested, absorbed and stored in your body. Generally, this takes about 10 to 14 hours. Now the question is, what happens in your body when exercising while fasting? The body has limited energy supply, so it is purposeful in how and when it uses different types, especially when exercising in a fasted state. Well, the best way to understand this is to think of your body as a hybrid car with two available fuel sources. One source is gas or glycogen, that is a store form of glucose, and the other is electricity or fat. The body typically prefers to use gas for high intensity exercises, meaning that if you need it fast and easy, glucose will be the preferred energy source. The body's ability to trade off between carbohydrate and fat metabolism that is switching between the fuel sources is called metabolic flexibility. This allows you to easily and efficiently balance the types of energy you use. Training faster is one way to improve metabolic flexibility because it forces the body to use different energy sources by increasing the availability of fat for fuel. That is the basis for those who advocate fast workouts. Now let's take a look at the science of fast workout in brief. Generally speaking, the body doesn't run solely on just one fuel source or one type of metabolism only. So it is very rare that you would use solely fat sources. So you tend to be using some glucose and glycogen throughout our exercise session. But because your body is fasted and not taking in any new carbohydrate that provide glucose, it will use more fuel from fat sources during exercise as our body tries to spare glycogen for when we might need it later for fight or flight type of incident. And this is possible because during fasting, the body increases the availability of free fatty acids circulating in blood through lipolysis, the breakdown of stored fat tissues. So because there's an increase in the availability of those fatty acids, we see an increase in utilization of those fat sources. As the fast extends, ketone bodies also become available the liver produces ketone bodies derived from free fatty acids for the body to use as energy when glucose is unavailable. The effect continues even after fasted exercises when you will see a decrease in overall glucose oxidation, that is a breakdown of glucose and insulin circulation, and an increase in free fatty acids circulating in the blood. Well, think of it this way. You just use additional stored energy to exercise in a fasted state. And now the body wants to prioritize restoring the muscles with glycogen. Well, to survive in the meantime, the body needs to use fat stores so that your muscles can prioritize getting that glycogen back. That is true all the time, even in fat exercise. But in faster state, the contribution from fat sources overall is proportionately higher. Adding protein to carbohydrate to replenish muscle glycogen stores is important because it supports the muscle repair process. Now, the important question here is, do fasted workouts help you to lose fat? This is one of the most common assumptions about fasted exercises. However, the general consensus among experts, researchers as well as trainers and coaches seems to be that fasted exercise doesn't result in more fat loss. 
Well, there's no question that you're proportionately using more fat during a fast workout, meaning that the contribution from fat sources throughout exercise and in the recovery period is greater when conducted in a faster state. Let's take a look at this 2016 meta-analysis in the British Journal of Nutrition, looking at 27 studies which found that faster aerobic exercises induce higher fat oxidation than exercise performed in the fat state. By the way, fat state occurs within the first few hours after eating as your body digests and absorbs nutrients from food. Another study in 16 women over 6 weeks found no difference in fat loss between women who exercise fasted compared to those who exercise after eating over the study period. So, how does fasted exercise impact workout results? Well, everything depends on your exercise goals and priorities. According to a 2018 meta-analysis led by Dr. Carson, looked at 23 studies on people doing cardio in the fat versus fasted state. They found no difference in exercise performance when workouts were less than 60 minutes. So, if you're working out for a short time in a faster state, your performance might not suffer. Furthermore, if performance isn't the purpose of your workout, like walking your dog or casual weekend jog, then doing so in a faster state isn't a problem. But for those prioritizing performance goals, gaining strength or muscle, or those who like high endurance and high intensity workouts, exercising in a faster state could negatively affect your workout results. Research also suggests that performance improves when you eat before longer workouts. The meta-analysis led by Dr. Carson found that 54% of studies show that pre-exercise feeding improves performance for people doing aerobic exercise for longer than 60 minutes, possibly due to additional glycogen that is available to help fuel the workouts. So the key takeaway here according to Dr. Carson, if you have a long exercise session or are performing in some kind of long race, you should fuel to perform to your maximum. A small study on 16 men doing resistance training found that not eating breakfast before exercising decreased exercise performance in the gym. Plus, research on muscle strength and faster training highlight that eating protein post-exercise is most important for recovery when exercising fasted. It's worth noting that other research suggests that while exercising in a faster state may impair performance in a particular workout, doing it repeatedly could lead to beneficial adaptation over time, such as improved glucose control and fat burning. So what is the bottom line? Faster exercise could be helpful for those who want to optimize metabolic health and help the body to be metabolically flexible. Well, the benefits of fasting include reduced concentrations of many metabolic biomarkers associated with chronic disease, including insulin and glucose. Exercising fasted can help your body to switch fuel sources. Using or metabolizing different types of energy like fat during exercise is great for when you want more sustained energy while keeping your insulin low. And low levels of fasting insulin are a sign of higher insulin sensitivity, higher fat oxidation, and low metabolic disease risk. And overall, it is an excellent biomarker for optimal metabolic health. However, if you're looking to maximize performance, you will likely best be served by exercising fat. The same goes for the day that people compete in a triathlon. Now, let me just summarize. Exercising before eating can burn fat and improve metabolic flexibility, but also affect your fitness performance. So here is how to strike a healthy balance. First, fasted exercise means exercising after not eating for around 10 to 14 hours, which forces your body to rely more on fat for fuel. Research suggests that fasted exercise increases fat burning during the workout, but does not lead to greater fat loss overall. Other studies show that fasted exercise only impairs performance in workouts longer than 60 minutes. Eating before longer or high intensity workouts may improve performance as it provides the body with more glycogen fuel. The metabolic benefit of fasted exercise like improved insulin sensitivity may be helpful for some, but exercise itself provides most of the health and fitness adaptation. So for those who want to try fasted exercise for the first time, I would suggest doing so when performance isn't your main priority. Again, this means you don't want to exercise fasted the day of your marathon, but rather in some prior training sessions. Trying fasted exercise might take some trial and error, so pay attention to how you feel during and after fasted training and do what's most comfortable for you and your goals. I hope you find the information presented in this video interesting and helpful. Please seek further advice from the appropriate healthcare professionals. 
Until next week, take care. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is free of charge but will help the channel to grow. If you're interested in improving your health and fitness or losing weight, if you suffer from or wish to prevent back pain, please take a look at my book, which is now available from Amazon Worldwide. Thank you.